The Galactic Empire was infamous for amplifying the anti-alien sentiments of the former Republic that arose during the twilight years of its life, and were later amplified during the height of the Clone Wars, as the Separatists were made up of a majority of non-human aliens. While the Empire did not explicitly have laws forbidding aliens from joining its ranks, it became noticeably clear through its propaganda efforts, and who held the real power within its hierarchy, that humans were valued as superior to all other species. One of these propaganda efforts was best displayed through the Human High Culture Policy, which exclusively prompted human-only works of art, literature that encouraged sentiments of humans being the backbone of all advanced civilizations, and other content that devalued the contributions of aliens. While pure humans were viewed as the most superior to all others, alien species outside of this group were not all viewed and treated the same either, as there were certain lenient exceptions made to a few specific groups of non-humans. After humans, near-humans were treated the best under the Galactic Empire. Near-humans were alien species that shared very close genetics to humans, with the differences ranging from being barely noticeable to very obvious. Near-humans were believed to have been pure humans at one point, but because they were isolated to certain climates on foreign planets for long periods, they followed a separate evolutionary path. Those that were born from a mixed human and alien relationship were also viewed as near-humans. Examples of near-humans were the Chiss, Zeltrons, Kifar, and Pantorans. Although they shared near-identical physical size and humanoid shapes, they tended to have different skin tones or patterns that differentiated them from the so-called pure humans. Clones were also likely viewed and treated the same as near-humans, as they were at times viewed as subhuman, due to their birth process not being natural. A handful of near-humans were known to make up the Empire's highest ranks, like Grand Admiral Thrawn, Grand Moff Bertroff Hissa, Officer Krieg, and Imperial Ruling Council members Mass Ameda and Sly Moore. A lower category of near-humans also saw aliens such as the Pau'ans, Utais, and Sulustans. Although they contain far more apparent physical differences compared to humans, their relative humanoid shapes still classify them as near-humans, though their treatment by the Empire was closer to that of aliens that shared little to no likeness to humans. Another subcategory of this would also place cyborg humans around this placement, with their cybernetics being looked down upon by fellow peers, even if they were a result of a hard-earned battle. This was likely due to the anti-droid sentiment among many Imperials that stemmed from the Clone Wars, whose distrust of droids bled into humans who either augmented their bodies with cybernetics or had to survive off them. After near-humans and cyborgs came the general aliens that shared little to no similarities to humans. These included Huts, Mon Calamari, Kalish, and Trandoshans. They were for the most part absent from the high ranks of the Empire, with most only obtaining low-level, non-military positions such as technicians or janitorial. Along with not having the opportunity to climb the Imperial hierarchy, aliens of this group tended to see the most brutal acts of the Empire being committed against them during warfare, as the Imperial Senate did not levy the same standards toward their planets as they did toward human and near-human ones. The most unfortunate members of this group were deemed as non-sentient by the Imperial Senate as well, in which case they could be used as slave labor. Those that were marked as such included the Wookiees and Geonosians, both of which were viewed more as wild beasts and as mere insects rather than full conscious beings. And perhaps the lowest of the alien hierarchy in regards to the Galactic Empire were the droids. While obviously not alien, droids were treated the worst in every regard, from being forced to work in the most grueling conditions to being treated as mere tools rather than living beings. 